The Hornets and the Villains, Hertfordshire versus the West Midlands. We're all set for the penultimate away game of the 2015-2016 season. Watford may have lost narrowly to Crystal Palace in last week's FA Cup semi-final at Wembley, but they've had an excellent first campaign back in the top flight under Kike Sanchez Flores. Relegated Villa are looking to end a run of ten straight defeats. They have won three of the five Premier League meetings between the two clubs, though. Froggy, at least the scoring touch was rediscovered against Southampton, but there's a need to stamp out those defensive errors which cost them. Yeah, I mean, defensively, if you look across the course of the season, Jack, how many stupid goals have... I mean, I've lost count, and mm. it's almost on a game-by-game -game basis, stupid errors have been made. And you can't concede four goals and expect to, to get any points, especially at home. Mm. But at least we scored a couple of goals, you know, small mercies, and it, and it was from the midfield area where it's been... Well, there's been a drought, isn't there? Let's be honest. With you. I mean, there's been a drought in terms of goals from all over the pitch, but midfield, particularly the last three or four seasons, is something we've spoke about a lot. We need more goals. So, uh, you know, whether they can take any comfort from that going into another game, but this game's crucial because you do not want to be on the back of 11 straight defeats, mm. starting picking up records, because at that stage, for me as a player, that becomes embarrassing. Two of their leading lights to watch out for, Horelio Gomez between the posts and striker Troy Deeney. Yeah, real character in goal. Um, it's interesting because he can he can make as many mistakes as, as any goalkeeper <laughs> in the Premier League. But on his day, he, he can be fantastic. He's got great agility, saves penalties for fun. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a great shot stopper. I think when the ball's coming in from wide areas, I think I think that's where you can test him. He flaps a little bit. And Troy Deeney, you know, as we know, he's, he scored here at Villa Park, a blue nose, a very good player, loyal. Strong, aggressive, a player you'd want in your team, works hard, a real grafter, you know, a real all-round player, can pick a pass, creates lots of goals for his strike partners, a general all-round good player, Jack. And it's been a difficult environment, to say the least, here at Villa Park in the home matches, but at Vicarage Road, fantastic traditional venue, even though Watford are mid-table, Villa are down, there should still be a good atmosphere. Yeah, yeah Watford are a, a terrific family club, you know, dating back to the days where Graham Taylor ran the, ran the team. Mm. And there'll be a massive disappointment, wouldn't there? Because I say Graham was the last person to take them to a cup final and they've missed, for me, why I think it's a great opportunity yeah. because you know, obviously losing to Palace will be a blow and will it impact on them? There's all the talk about the manager not being there. It'll be interesting to see how they pick themselves up because I think motivation will be difficult for the players knowing they could be losing the manager. They've got nothing really to play for now. So is that an opportunity for us maybe to stem the, the tide? Who knows? Froggy, thanks for being so positive. It's a good job we don't do a post-match show, by the way. <laughs> At least before, you never quite know what's going to happen. Much more analysis over on AVTVHD. Andy Blair back alongside me for live commentary on Saturday afternoon. We'll see you then.